Now a new test may help doctors detect breast cancer years before a mammogram can. Here's Dr. David Marks tells how it works. Ros and Jim, breast cancer screening relies on a number of things, including family history, genetics, breast self-exams, and mammograms. But a new test promises to do for breast cancer what the pap smear did for cervical cancer. This machine may end up being part of a woman's regular breast health exam. It's called the Halo Nipple Aspirate Fluid Test, or Halo NAF. Suction cups are placed on the breasts. An electric pump is turned on, much like a breastfeeding pump. Some women will produce fluid, which is then collected, and the cells are analyzed for abnormalities. The pathologist reads the nipple fluid just like a pap smear is read. Dr. Rosalind Baxter-Jones says it can help doctors pick up cancer earlier than other tests. The halo mass is able to determine if a woman is secreting abnormal cells six to eight years prior to a mammogram. And that's because of the size of the lesion. On the mammogram, the lesion has to be at least a centimeter in size to be uh, detected. The results of this fluid a um, analysis does have a correlation to a woman's risk of developing breast cancer. Dr. Pellegrino cautions the halo NAF should not be used to diagnose breast cancer, but testing for abnormal cells can help in the screening process. Adding in another known factor can certainly help you to make a stronger case to define someone as high risk. Amy Rhodes was tested with the Halo NAF. I see the future of my breast pap test being part of my yearly exam along with my mammogram from this point on. We're going to see over the next few years that this is going to become part of women's routine health maintenance. Some doctors worry that women with abnormal cells who don't have cancer will be subjected to unnecessary and invasive tests like biopsies. But Dr. Pellegrino says the key is to use the HaloNAF in combination with other screening tests. Now, the HaloNAF was recently approved by the FDA and costs under $100. Because it's so new, it's not covered by insurance right now. And, Roz, you were asking if it's out now. And it is approved by the FDA, and some doctors do have it, and I suspect over the next few months and years, it's going to be very widespread, but it is available. This is great medical. It news. looks very good.